Okay, so um, we've got a Bayliner 210 uh, Cuddy cabin. Um, use it down the Murray most weekends. We got a slight issue. We like uh, water skiing and um, wakeboarding behind the boat, but um, it's only got a small uh, tow point at the back. So um, we're going to try today and make a, a custom high tow pole at the back and see how it goes. So. Um, this is the boat. That's the um, Bayliner 210. This is the current tow bar rope. And what we're proposing to do is to put a plate down the bottom here with a welded pole, attach it with a bracket to the back, and then another pole that's got a slot into it. So we've been down to the metal place. The plate. Let's get away the bottom pole, the bracket, and then the top, the top tile. So what could possibly go wrong? So we're just marking off the, the height of the pole against the. Um, Right, so we're going to put that in front of the old toe, so we can still use that if we need to. Sure, that's the right length. Down to size now, so that's going to be the, the base plate, which is on the back of the boat. That's going to be the uh, the main pole, which could have been a little bit higher actually. Yeah, because uh, we're going to put the bracket into there, so because then you can still use that. And then the main pole will slot slot into that. And that's keeping that nice and central in the central in the back of the boat. So and that's obviously going into a swim deck. So it should easily clear it. So we've built four holes into the bottom plate. pilot holes will be able to go through the metal. So once you've drilled the bottom plate and cut it to size, it should uh, then be able to be bolted to the back of the deck. And so so now that we've done the base plate and rounded 
rounded off all the edges. We're going to get the bottom steel pole and weld it there, probably at a slight angle at the bottom, just so it leans back on the um, back section of the rubber on the boat. We've also drilled a little notch at the bottom, so when that's fixed to the plate, if any water gets into there, then it will uh, it will just automatically drain drain out the bottom. Just make sure it's properly square on the plate. Pull that off, a bit of water, and then you can see if the um, yeah, put it. You can see the little drain hole, of the water coming off the back. Beautiful. Grind down to make it look a little bit better. So essentially now that's all welded, it'll be put into place under there, like so. And um, bolt it through, through the bottom to there. We've now just got a little bit of straight pipe that we're going to make the bracket out of. And um, we bent it in a just sort of pole, but if you've got a pipe bender, that'd be better. So that's going to go around a bit like that, and then we'll bend these sides out that will go attach onto the uh, side of the boat, and that will take most of the um, most of the weight. So let's imagine these are. These are going to curve around like that, and then that will essentially go onto the back of the boat, like so. Alright, so we're going to tack this onto the uh, to the pipe. So we'll just use the welder again, and once that's on there, we'll then uh, bend it to the shape of the boat. There after. Perfecto. So it's going to chop off the um, excess on both sides. 
and then you can drill a couple of holes and then uh, bolt it to the boat. Now where we made all the cuts, we just need to fill those in with some weld just to make them all um, strong again. So we need to drill a couple of holes and then bolt it from the inside. So on the back of the boat, just lift the engine up and to the left. So that's obviously where the swim deck is is uh, bolted in. And up there is where the uh, the old pole is. So I think we're gonna have to just drill just slightly, slightly below that. This is our um, pole that will slot into the other one. So we're just cutting it down to uh, about 180 centimeters, six foot. So we're drilling a couple of holes in the main ski pole, one at the top, and then one lower down. So one's going to be at about three and a half foot and then one at six foot. And then once we've done the holes, we will get to these um, hooks that we picked up from the hardware store. Now we're going. Couple of hooks and we'll put those in there to um, 
to attach, so the hole needs to be slightly uh, slightly bigger. We'll put those through, and then uh, just weld those into into place. Chop it off on this side and weld it into place. Okay, we're now just uh, polishing up the um, base feet. polish before painting as well. Top two on. We'll just do the, the four bolts in the in the back there. Under the swim deck. So they're all bolted in. And the same on the bottom. Give this a final bit of a spray. base needs another quick coat and uh, that's hole all the way to the back beauty so all that's to be left now is to uh, put it in the water and see how um, See how it works. Bay liner in the water, just it's our little docking station. It's got the pole in the back. And uh, just for a bit of extra support, we're gonna add a strap onto the cleats at the back. Then we'll, uh, then we'll go out. Looking like glass today. So this is the strap we're putting on the back. So this will just 
stop the pole from, from bending at all. Give it a bit more support. So I'm about six foot tall, 105 kilos. So this will be a, a real test for this, for this pole at the back. Pole, it's just over six foot high. Bring the um, bring the boat around, Tony. If you go that way. <laughs> <laughs> 